Hey YouTube, Novastar here again. And today, I was meant to be bringing you my box openings for BT12, no, EB12, uh, Waltz of the Goddess. Um, I was recording, but my phone died, and I was halfway through opening box one. Um, but I didn't realise my phone died and it wouldn't turn back on, so I actually thought my phone had broken for a bit. Because it would literally, no matter what I did for about half an hour, I couldn't get my phone to turn on. So it was really annoying. So I decided to just go ahead and open the boxes while I was letting my phone stop, stop being a spaz, basically. So I didn't get to record them. Um, I am doing, this is a video of what I pulled in my 14 boxes. I also got 40-something uh, Legion campaign packs. So I'll show you what I pulled from them. But I'm going to go straight into, I'll show you what I got with the Legion campaign first. I got seven sets. Or seven sets of each Legion campaign. So seven sets of the uh, this Legion, this Clan's Legion. One of my phone, Morikamo. Wait, Murukumo even the Murukumo Legion. I've got seven sets of them. Um, so I've got seven copies of eight of them, which I don't really need because I don't play that set. Seven of the Pale Moon. So that's what that Legion looks like. So seven of the pale moon. Uh oh, more pale moon ones there, so no 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 uh -huh. So seven pale moon seven of the angel feather seven of the mega colony, which is probably one of the best ones, one of the better ones if you're a mega colony player, it's worth picking up this legion. So seven, for those of you who wonder what it looks like, it looks like something like that. So seven, I got seven sets of them. And then Great Nature, I got seven sets off as well, which looks something like that. Uh, so, and then the last one, which is probably my favorite one, is the Seeker one. There's a Seeker Legion, which looks something like that, which looks really cool. It would be nice to see this in hollow or in SP form. Um, basically, uh, when this unit attacks a hits a vanguard, if you have a vanguard with Seeker in its card name, choose one of your other units, and that unit gets 5k power. So basically, when this attacks in as a rearguard, hits the vanguard, one of your other Seekers get 5k power. And obviously, the Legion Ring is nice. But I'm not going to go into what it does. If you want to know what it does, you can look it up. I don't really have time to... Uh, go through the effects. So on to what I actually pulled. I'm going to go through the double rares first. So I pulled all these double rares. I pulled how many? Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight quintet walls. So two play sets of quintet walls, which I thought was really nice. I only actually needed three because I'm running two of my, one in my witches and two of my regalia. So, you know, just like nice. Uh, perfect guards. I will do perfect guards next. I got a lot of perfect guards, guys. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten perfect guards. Ten perfect guards. So I have five, roughly five spare. Maybe, maybe six. I've got at least five spare. Though, so. And on to my next grade two. We'll do midday. So we got midday. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven middays. I pulled eleven middays, which is the Legion mate for midnight, which is one of the main grade threes I'm gonna be well is the grade three that I'm gonna be running in one of my decks. So eleven of these. I only needed four. Then for her Legion mate, the grade three. I pulled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only pulled seven uh, midnight, which is okay. I, I got four. I got a place out of everything, guys. So, yeah. So I got four. Well, apart from SPs, I didn't get like Angelica. I didn't get four Angelicas. Would be nice. And then for the last of the double rares, uh, which of Eagles, I pulled one, two, three, four, five, six. So I pulled six Witch of Eagles. Which I thought was not bad because I only needed four, so again, the two extra helped. 
So that's the double rares. For triple rares, we pulled three Yudra seals, believe it or not. 14 boxes, and I only pulled three in, well, three triple rare ones anyway. <clears throat> Just a little way, give away something then. So I pulled three triple rare Yudra seals. I was happy. I actually thought I only pulled two, and then in my last box I pulled the third one, so it was like nice. I pulled. How many Witch of White Snakes Mint did I pull? Well, I'm happy because I pulled four for myself. And then I pulled two more, which have already been reserved for someone else because he needs two more to finish his deck. I have them for him, so he will be happy. I have six uh, Witch of White Snakes Mint. And then I pulled one, two, uh, three, four, five of this this chick, which, you know, she's bad, but she's not that bad. She's nice. Like, she's not brilliant, but she's okay. She's okay if you want to if you want to make a mix of deck of, like, I don't know, four Minerva, two of this, two Angelica. Or three Minerva, three Angelica, two of this, or whichever way it could work. You could try it. I mean, if I had the Minerva's still, I would try it. But yeah, it's not bad. I bought five of them. That's my triple rares. For SPs. Nope. For SPs, I pulled one Witch of Black Snakes. I was so happy when I pulled this. Like, unbelievably happy. It was one of the only SPs I actually wanted to pull. Um, because I really wanted to build this deck and I wanted I want three more SPs. I really do want this in S more of these in SPs. So I pulled one of them in SP. And then I pulled two Angelicas in SP. Yes, look, SP and SP. I am not joking. In 14 boxes, I pulled three SPs. And then, to top it all off the ice and on the cake, I also pulled Legion Rare. Udrasil. Now this made my fucking day. I got... I was like... I had one... I was two SPs in. I pulled these two and I'm like, right, I'm definitely not getting a Legion Rare. I'm okay with it. I pulled two SPs. And I only had one Udrasil at the time. I already had pulled one Udrasil and I had like six boxes to go. Open a box. Boom. Legion Rare. I was like, oh my god. Yes. Pretty much buzzing because I've got this. I'm like, I need two more now. And then I then pulled a Udrasil in the same box. So I pulled a Triple Rare Udrasil and the Legion Rare Udrasil in the same box. I was really happy. And then I didn't get for like five boxes or four boxes after that. I didn't get no Udrasils in my last box. I literally thought I was only I was going to get another one of these. I got three of these in a row, like literally. But out of my last four out of my last four boxes, three of them were these. And in my last box, I pulled my third triple rare Udrasil. So I was like, yes, I've got the deck. But yeah, I pulled Legion Rare and three SPs in 14 boxes. I was also given this mat as a part of the order. These green sleeves that you see and everything in. I got some orange sleeves and some other sleeves as well, but they were just yeah. So this is what I pulled out of my 14 boxes. Three SPs and one Legion Rare. That's 14 boxes. I got a playset of everything except for Angelica. Because she's SP only. Um, I'm not going to be using these Angelicas. I'm going to probably be trading them off to Minerva users. Or if I can get them, if I can get two Minervas, if I can get three Minervas, I'm probably going to build the deck with two of these... Three of these and three Minervas, but it's like if people are willing to trade their Minervas at my locals. I was at my locals today, um, and basically my, this arrived when I, I got a text off my mum, because saying post had been when I arrived at my locals, telling me my stuff had, the, my boxes had arrived. I was kind of gutted, because I wanted to open them. Um, I'm still, full, so I've got my both Genesis decks. You can see them, they will be uploaded and done as soon as I get time to build them and test them out and you know i'll get them uploaded so you can expect them within a week or so um my witch deck is four four still four cards short but with all this trade bait that i've got spare shouldn't be hard finding those last four cards um so yeah uh, this is what i pulled from my eb12 box openings um again i'm still fucking annoyed because my phone spazzes out and I can't record them. Well, I recorded part of box one, but it's not the same. There's no point uploading half a box opening because it's just bad. Um, 
But yeah, so yeah, that's what I pulled and just look at that Legion Rare. So now my friend has Legion Rare Abyss and I have Legion Rare Udrasil. He's building the Abyss deck. I'm bu I am I have built the Udrasil deck. I would like more copies of this in Legion Rare. I would like a play set. But that's just talking pricey. So, you know, I don't need to buy anything for Genesis. I am probably going to try and pick up another, like three more of this in SP though because I really like this. And I wouldn't mind what, what, some of these in SP as well. Just to hollow out the deck. Um, but yeah, uh, SP. I just really like this SP. And she's so cute. This I'm building basically. Like, I'm a local today. My witch deck though from how it is built. If you've seen it in the previous. In the deck profile. It didn't lose once. It literally won every game. And I got a. I literally drove, drove check. A trigger on every attack. No lie. Pretty much every attack apart from one. Which was one of the last triggers. In, in the space of four turns. It literally went. I was on 5 damage, they was on 3. Double heal trigger, putting me on 3. Next turn, double crit trigger, putting them on 5. Next turn, double, I think it was a draw trigger. Just, yeah, it was, just, it was just a draw trigger. Turn after that, double stand trigger, because I run stands, as you will see. It was just just so funny. And a con, it, was just, it worked really, really well. Rhea's is by far the best witch out there for the deck. Um, she's kind of the main card of the deck for me. But yeah, so yeah, my you can expect to see my Genesis deck profile soon. I actually need to get, well, I need to dig out through all those cards down there, up there, uh, in that cupboard there. I need to find my two Odin Owls and my Witch of Pots. I need to dig them out because you don't get them in this set, which is a shame. Maybe Witch of Cats and Witch of Oranges as well because, you know, I might end up running them in my Witch deck. I don't know. But... Yeah, so it's not bad. I, I pulled okay. I reckon I pulled okay. I don't know what you guys rec think. Do you reckon I pulled okay in 14 boxes? I reckon I pulled amazing in 14 boxes. I mean, come on. These are rare free SPs. Plus, all these double rares and triple rares. Look at them all. All of them. You know, so it's like, it is nice. It's like 70 something. There's 42. Plus 14, that's uh, 42, that's 56, 57, 50, 50. It's like 61 hollows I pulled, and yeah, it's nice. My trade for my, my trade binder will be updated, so I'll, I'll probably put a trade binder up here for you guys shortly as well. Um, I'm mostly looking for, I don't really think I'm looking for anything right now, um, to be honest, just most likely cash, maybe some seeker stuff. But that's not out yet, so I might build Seekers next. Or maybe just some more uh, some more Legion Rares and SPs, because, you know, I want to SP and Legion Rare the deck out. Or decks. But yeah, so thanks for watching, um, guys. This is Nova from... Well, this is Nova. Um, this is my pulls from EB12. And expect to see the deck profile on Genesis Witches and Genesis Regalia. Thanks for watching. Bye.